Hello there, how's going on lads? Uh, it's been some time I didn't do a Flutter video. So this is the fifth and the final chapter of Augment Reality short course. This course started uh, two months ago. Alright, so this is my final chapter or video of that Flutter course. And uh, what we learned in the previous four chapters is first we tried to build a AR project with the uh, text on it and then we tried with the uh, uh, rendering the objects tap on the object and also custom object uh, then we have learned in the previous video about the how we can do a, a, a face detection and all these things and this final one is about uh, measuring the distance uh, so this is my this is what we are going to learn in this video so it's like uh, uh, placing a, a rectangle or a sphere on top of a uh, a surface and from there we're gonna click and tap the measurement of the distance between them so to make it clear though here we go this is I'm tapping on that and then I'm measuring the distance all right this is how it works so that's what we're going to learn in this chapter so let's start doing it if you haven't watched my previous episodes I have provided its link uh, in my video description just go through that and come up along with that because uh, I'm following the source code from the previous video and I'm on top of that I'm doing some makeup so I recommend you to come from there okay so uh, this is my from my previous episode and in this chapter what we need is um, we're going to add remove all these things and put on new stuffs inside that so let me remove this this is for the face detection all right and I have the source code over here this is about this all right uh, so uh, I'm going to bring it the airplane I'm just copying all the things just follow me along I will provide this link as well in my video description all right so let's come over here I'm going to replace this with this then uh, th I'm going to add this as well, but just uh, for the tap recognition and all these things enabling stuff. So, previous this face tracking, now it's kind of uh, horizontal plane detection. All right, I will explain this uh, what and all things later. Copy all along. Pretty lazy writing the code manually. All right, so what we have here, there here is an error which is for the first where all null. Uh, this this is because uh, we need to import another person. That's the reason. Actually, there is something like a package collection. So once you copy this, that error gonna disappear. Hope so. Yeah. Yeah, that's done. All right. So what we done here? So first of all, we are declaring uh, AR kit plane, uh, which is uh, basically for a uh, placing a plane on, on uh, like a rectangle or a sphere kind of uh, material we are placing on top of the some uh, detected space. Okay, and then we are having this AR node, and then having the anchor ID, and then have the vector which is for the position actually this is calculating the last from first position to the last position from the last position to this position uh, kind of stuff so that's mathematical calculation that's what we uh, that's that's for that reason I'm using that uh, then then I have here uh, show feature points it's nothing but when you open the camera as I said uh, there is some uh, points like dotted points like here so that's the reason if you don't if you don't require that you can just ignore this line all right so then i have the plane detection which is for the plane detection horizontal and then I have here the view created which is for the view creation what and all things we are going to do and then have the enable tap gesture which is setting it as true because uh, we're going to tap on the air camera surface and going to measure the points uh, distance all right so from here i'm going to air kit view created we created here I have the multiple uh, kit controller this is basically each one have each definite roles okay so first is having air kit controller with the add node on anchor this is about handle add node add anchor 
then have a handle update anger and then we have a list of thing which means it's like a loop kind of stuff which means it's a uh, on on the plane of tap uh, every tap is going to be measuring like a loop which means that from this point to this point from like likewise okay so as to make it clear uh, i will show it here a lot at the end look so there i have from this point to this point from this point to this point it's kind of a loop that's what happens here okay and then i have the uh, add handle add anger which is uh, just, just for the first thing which is having the add plane on the particular surface which is like uh, i'm adding a plane surface on top of that it's uh, to make clear uh, it's like uh, like this kind of uh, plane surface it's an uh, ho it's a quite transparent kind of stuff okay so that's what uh, happening uh, going to do in the hand had handle add anchor all right so it is going from here to had angle and updating the anchor and uh, like based on the vector positions of all these things and uh, finally what it does is it going to add a plane it going to add a plane from here look here it's going to add a plane and from plane uh, what happens here is it's going to get a particular width and a height measuring based on the rectangle kind of stuff and inside that I'm placing a material which is a white it's not a pure white of stuff it's a transparent uh, have added applied on that top of that all right then I have a uh, here uh, node which is uh, adding the node on the pattern of the thing which is measure based on the measurement and position and then as I mentioned here this is having the handle update from where on the top of the plane which we have identified now what I what it is does what it going to do is it's going to detect the observe the tap detection all right uh, it's gonna detect the tap detection and uh, add the plane on top of that which is uh, exactly for from here add handle uh, which means which means that our uh, own plane hand handle detector which is uh, from uh, from this I'm going to here if it is not nil it's checking if it is not nil because uh, if it is nil means there is a, a, a reason of crash maybe something like that so in order to ignore that if it is not nil I'm getting the value get added that's the reason and then uh, it's having the tap plane tap handler which is having the material first of all and then have a sphere kind of material on top of that then the node this node is having the air kit last position these positions put taking the positions and all these things and uh, after taking the positions uh, it's gonna add a line from where it is going to calculate the distance between the points this is where the calculation is going on and it's having uh, some calculation materials uh, a distance to this distance which means vector 1 to vector B they're going to do track track a distance or measurement all these things and then ham uh, then finally does is draw a text this is the thing where uh, it's going to draw a text it's like a uh, line kind of stuff and also uh, on the top of uh, that we are passing the value which is this text is actually uh, the value which we have calculated all right and this is about the points and these points getting measured and that points will be circled in a small way and uh, the value of that calculated uh, calculated stuff will be placed in the middle of between those two lines that's what happens here it's pretty cool and easy but uh, somewhat a little bit complex. It's not that much uh, hard, but it's a very good uh, thing because we can measure a distance without uh, Having a tape or something else. So that's all in this video actually um, Let me run this and check what we have done so far before that uh, I recommend that you can go from here to Finder and then open Xcode Make sure you have the sign-in capabilities all these things done because uh, if you're running in a device uh, you need to do that and if you try to run in an emulator it will show like this because camera is not uh, there in the simulator all right so coming back to Xcode from here and I have the sign-in capabilities all these things enabled all right okay so from here I'm going to run this and check uh, how it works
Before I finish this video, I just want to mention that uh, here I have used the plane detection in horizontal. So you can try in a different like a vertical as well. If you click like this and try to say vertical, it will go for vertical and maybe you can get in like this position to uh, measure the distance. All right. So this is your homework. So you may try that. Okay. And let's. Uh, there is another option as uh, horizontal and vertical as well. This is another way of thinking. All right. Try that. Well, this is a pre recorded one. It's kind, yeah. I'm placing two points and it's going to measure and give me the value in centimeter. Then uh, it's a kind of a loop kind of stuff. So I'm tapping it again on the another four corners. It's like a rectangle and giving the distance of each notes. All right, that's it. Perfect. I hope uh, this video help would help someone else. And uh, this is my, this is the final episode of uh, uh, this short for short course in AR and um, if you like the video uh, just subscribe for upcoming flutter videos and projects all right thank you for watching and seeing the next video bye